booktube it's missy and today i'm going to be doing my july tbr for this month i've chosen juggle july which is kind of lame i know but i have 15 or actually 17 uh 15 books we're just gonna say 15 for now 15 books from the library that are due in august that i need to read and then i have about six books right next to my computer uh, that are half finished. They're all about 30% in and I need to read them. So I'm just going to grab books randomly uh, and try to get through as many as I can before July is over. Um, yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll give you like a sneaky peeky. Uh, this is my library bag, all the books that I have here. And then guess what? Yesterday was the bookmobile, and there was three more waiting for me. Tip for you when you get library books. If you have a system where there is a bunch of libraries in your uh, main city, because I live in San Diego, so all of San Diego, so that's like 13, well not, not all of San Diego, like northern San Diego, there's like 13 libraries. And so within those 13 libraries, I'm allowed to borrow books from any of those libraries. I just request it and it ends up on my bookmobile. But the thing is, I get crazy when I'm borrowing books, like when I stick them in the queue, because I'm thinking, oh, there's no way that all these books would come in at the same time. No, they do. They always do. And now I have 15 books that need to be read by August. It's impossible. La yesterday though, these ones came in, uh, Charmed by Michelle Cries or Crees. Uh, this is the sequel to Hexed. This is a witch book. Hexed was amazing, so I'm assuming this is going to be just as good. Uh, I loved it. I loved the first one, and I can't wait to read the second one. I also got Denton's Little Death Date by Lance Rubin. Look at that hearse. It's amazing. And uh, this is about a boy, or an entire world, knows the very date that they're going to die but not the time. So some people party it up. Some people reminisce with their families and loved ones. Some people, you know, are so shocked or scared or whatever. They don't do anything. Well, Denton story is a little different. I don't know if he dies. I, I don't remember what the synopsis says, uh, but I can't wait to find out. It seems intriguing. I mean, do you want to know when you die? I don't. I'd like it to be a surprise. And what happens when you do know the, the date? I mean, it's kind of scary. I don't want to think about it, but I am enjoying the fact that I have this book and I can't wait to read it. And let me just show you really quickly. I mean, each, each chapter page has grass and a tombstone. Uh, kudos to the author and publishing company. Who did this? I don't know. That, I like little details like that. All right, and then the last book that I got yesterday was Mosquito Land by David Arnold. I was supposed to get this two weeks ago, but for some reason, they didn't give it to me. Um, but this is a contemporary road trip book about a girl who moves down with her father down south. I don't know what state. And then something happens. She has to go back up to her hometown. So she takes a bus to get there. And uh, her journey and the people she meets and all that stuff. Um, I love this book. Look at that cover. It's so vintage, and I just love it, and I just love it. It looks like, besides, you know, this is like, of course, the library book, but it looks like it's like made out of newspaper. It's so cool. Um, so I have 15 books from the library that I need to read, and I'm also going to put my Friday reads in this video since it's going to be so short. I am currently reading Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. This is about a boy with mental illness. Right off the bat, Neil, making me crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's on a ship in his mind or if he's really on a ship. It seems like he's just thinking he's on a ship and he's speaking to an imaginary people. I can't tell. I feel like I'm in a dream and it's good. Neil has such a way of writing majestically and making you crazy at the same time. I just love his writing style. And yeah, so I'm loving this book. And then um, tomorrow's the last day for the Rito Rama. And so I do want to try to get to Beastkeeper by Kat Hellingson. Hellingson? Hellingson. It's very tiny. This is the middle grade uh, challenge. And that's pretty much all I'm going to get this week. I don't think I'll get to Charisma or uh, my ebook because 
I read an extra book this week that I wasn't expecting to. So lots and lots of library books. And before I go, uh, that book outlet order came in. So let me do a quick uh, book haul. Where'd my trusty box cutter? Box cutter. So there's my book haul. Hi, book outlet. You make me waste so much money. Uh, this one was good. This one was the $5 uh sale or not five dollars five dollars off that's more like it so basically book outlet sent out coupons and they said hey you want a book for free here's a five dollar off coupon there's no minimum payment you you just get the book that you want and you can get it for free and just pay for shipping and i thought oh that's brilliant i'm doing that and i put a book in my cart and i was excited I really wanted this horror book and then I'm looking at the price and I'm like free plus $3.99 shipping I don't know if I want to pay $3.99 shipping for a free book it doesn't make any sense no it made perfect sense I'm just an addicted addicted person with uh, buying problems and I got two more books so there's three in this box and uh, the horror book that I wanted is The Guardians by Andrew Piper. I have The Demonologist, which I haven't read yet, but um, uh, Keely over at the Bibliophiles Journey, uh, she just read, what did she just read? She just read something, The Damned, I think, by Andrew Piper, and she said it was super good. And so I was like, oh, well, I need an Andrew Piper book, even though I haven't started reading any Andrew Piper books yet. But this sounds like it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's a, I think that's a haunted house. And I need more haunted house books in my life. And then, so that was the free book. I was like, yeah, I don't need any more. But then I remember people getting this book. And on Goodreads, it has like four stars. And that's always a good thing. And so I had to get the book and then the sequel. Because the third one's coming out, I think, sometime this year. So I got The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett, and this is about an actual girl who is a nightmare. So she goes into people's dreams and causes havoc, and it's supposed to be really, really dang good. And so I had to get the sequel, The Nightmare Dilemma, and yeah. So overall I paid $11 for three books, which I guess isn't bad, but gosh, I didn't need them. I didn't need them. So that was my July TBR, my Friday reads, and a very small book haul for July. No more books. Although I did buy three uh, pre-orders last night, I believe, for August, because August is going to be a great month. Oh no, I lied. I also got a $25 gift card to Barnes & Noble on my last day of work from my boss because she's awesome. And I bought, uh, was it two books? Two books, I think, from Barnes & Noble. And that will be coming in. So I lied. I mean, there was a pre-order that I really needed and then a book that I wanted on the side. So that's five books this month. Not bad. Not bad. All right, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy 4th of July to all those that celebrate. And I will talk to you soon.